Step one is determining the footprint of your subterranean heating and cooling system. You're gonna to wanna to know how wide the system is so that you can input that data into the tool. Next, you're gonna to want to enter all the data into the subterranean heating and cooling design tool. This is gonna include the air changes per hour you're gonna test, the number of ground heat exchangers, the number of ground heat exchanger pipes per lift, the horizontal distance between those lifts, the internal pipe surface roughness, the diameter of these heat pipes, and the length of the inlet and outlet manifold. You'll need to manipulate these numbers around until you find a solution that gives you a green okay. This may take several attempts for you to find the optimal number of pipes, lifts, and distance between them in order to make a system that works for your particular greenhouse. Lastly, once your system is designed, you'll want to collect all the information regarding the size of the fan, the size of the manifolds, and the size of the heat pipes. Go and price the system out and see if it's within your budget and if it will work within your particular greenhouse. If it doesn't, go back to the beginning and iterate the design process until you find a system that meets your context. If you're looking to design your own passive solar greenhouse and want help in choosing our value for your walls, a glazing material, the amount of heat or size of heater required to heat the greenhouse, your lighting system, thermal mass calculation, as well as designing a subterranean heating and cooling system, you will find that this tool makes passive solar greenhouse design infinitely easier. These videos will show you how to use the tool. And if you're interested in purchasing the tool for your own passive solar greenhouse design, you can find information on how to purchase the tool at Small Farm Academy in the link below. Thank you.